In this video we're going to be looking over this Olympus Infinity Stylus Zoom 70 Quartz Date 35mm film camera. And in order to put it through some testing I have a battery here and a scrap roll of film that are going to help us check it out. And I hope that what I'm going to do here will be almost as good as if you had this in your own hands. Now we're going to get started by loading the battery and the first thing I noticed about this camera is that the battery door latch does not hold. And the reason is that some little tabs are broken off right here. This camera usually has this that snaps shut and all you have to do is stick a penny in there and just pry it just slightly. But this one looks like somebody was prying with something that did a little damage there. So just be aware of that. The previous owner had a little piece of clear tape on here just holding this shut. But uh, we just put the battery in and now we can go ahead and load the film. And we, before we load it let's just look at this inside. The optics look nice here. The surface that a gasket goes against looks good. And over here on this side we see this continuous rubber gasket and I can feel it's soft and pliable and the foam here on this window still looks good the pressure plate works well so let's load the film in here and just pull this little tail into the take up area and close the door now we hear the motor winding the film and so now if I open this the lens comes out, the flash pops up, and we see picture number one ready here on the little screen. So the first thing I'm going to do is try a, uh, a normal flash. So I'm going to set this to fill in flash to make sure that it thinks it needs to flash under these conditions. And so now we'll just set the camera here and operate the shutter. The flash certainly worked. Next I'm going to try the, uh, the mode where it uh, reduces red eye and in this case I'm going to shut off these lights here just so that it knows for sure that it needs to flash and that certainly worked okay now I'm going to shut the flash off and set it for self timer mode and we see the little timer indicator came on right there. So now if I set the, flat, the uh, camera here and point it at us and then oh, press, okay there's the shutter and now there's the little red light and now we can watch it complete the cycle. Okay then we should check and make sure that the zoom is working properly and we can see that the power zoom runs this out from a 35 millimeter lens to a 70 millimeter lens and back and I verified that the uh, optical uh, viewfinder zooms with the lens just fine. The other thing to look at is this quartz date and uh, this I'm going to use the tip of this mechanical pencil just to push these little buttons. Now, by default, when you put in a new battery, it comes up to January 1st, 1989. Now, if I hold this button down, the 89 starts flashing, and then I can step up through the years here. But unfortunately, what I discovered was after you get here to the year 2020 and you want to go farther than that it reverts back to 1989. So the quartz state function will not keep track of the correct date anymore on this camera. Um, you could then go ahead and continue to set the month and, and the date and the time But most likely what you'll want to do with this is just turn this to off with all dashes. At this point I'm about done with what I wanted to show here. So I'm just going to shoot the rest of these pictures off. We can watch the lens move to focus in here. When it reached the end, 
So now the lens retracts, the flash goes down, and the camera starts rewinding. And here we see going back down three, two, one. And there we know for sure it's broken free. The flashing E means it's safe to open the back and take out our film, which is all wound back into the cartridge. Um, the door, film door, latches nicely. And uh, everything about the camera seems just fine. There's a little bit of cosmetic wear. These were often just shoved into pockets, and so on these uh, hard lines, there's often wear that shows. It's not in too bad a shape, except this uh, battery door latch is broken, so just be aware of that. I'm going to take out this battery since that's not included. It does come with this Olympus strap and uh, that's in good shape. 